Uh, Illinois State, Bradley, uh, this week at home, both um, undefeated. So, we, again, we could go up against two teams that are undefeated this week. Uh, Illinois State is playing some really good volleyball. Uh, they're 12-4 and four right now, and their three, three of their losses have come to top 25 teams uh, who they have gotten a set from. Um, so they played Wisconsin Marquette and Washington State. Uh, so a very, very competitive team and a team that just does everything well. Uh, offensively, they're leading the conference in attack percentage. Defensively, um, they're leading in what they hold their opponent's attack percentage to. So uh, our all-around team. And I think what makes them so strong offensively is they're a team that all five of their main players are averaging over two kills per set. Uh, but then if any of those kids are struggling, they have a very deep bench, uh, can bring uh, several kids in to, to help them out. Uh, their setter is extremely good, also can be very active as well. And then defensively, just do a really good job of putting up a good block. And then in the backcourt, get a lot of touches. They're led by Libero of the Year last year, Courtney Pence. Uh, but one of those teams that um, we talked about last, uh, last week about Valpo, who keeps the ball alive. They try to wear you out, uh, force you into hitting shots you don't have. Uh, that is definitely Illinois State. So expecting a, a great battle there. Uh, and then uh, Bradley, I uh, don't know a lot about them yet, ex except for stats. Just know 14-2 um, and two, a start. Um, huge for Bradley. Uh, just a great turnaround. Uh, Carol's done a wonderful job there with that program. Um, obviously undefeated in the conference. They have two of the best outside hitters. I know that stat-wise, uh, but anxious to, to focus in on them as well. But I uh, have only watched video on Illinois State so far. So looking forward to a good weekend.